<laughs> if this was the upper threading, this is the lower threading. So, okay, let's get into it. Okay, so instructions say, raise the needle to the highest position by turning the hand wheel um, counterclockwise or press this. Now, I don't know. <laughs> I'm kind of scared of pressing this, but let's, you wanna try and see what, what happens? Okay, let's see, I'm gonna drop, <laughs> I'm gonna drop the needle lower let's say lower and then I'm gonna press this button and see what happens say a prayer guys say a prayer Jesus oh okay that went down do I press it again look at that <laughs> okay so I don't need to to turn this thing over here, I can just simply press this. Let me press it again, see what happens. Ooh, look at that. Look at that. Okay, sweet. Okay, so, oh no, where did my thread go? Oh Lord, oh Lord. Where did the thread go? <laughs> ah, okay. Okay thread kind of went in so I kind of pulled it out okay let's get serious I need to get this done <laughs> okay next step slide the button and open the cover slide the button and open the cover so it's this that's where I am open the cover oh look at that that just popped right out okay so I'll put that to the side Put the bobbin in so the thread comes out in the direction shown by the arrow. Shown by the arrow. Okay, so this is what I'm looking at in the instructions. This. So let's see. Put in the bobbin. Arrow. Okay. That goes there. Again, please excuse me. I'm doing this with one arm and I on the camera, so uh, just hope it goes in the right direction. Okay, so I think I got it. Mm -hmm. Next, hold the end of the thread, push the bobbin down with your finger, and then pass the thread through the slit. Replace the bobbin cover, put the left tab in place, and then press lightly on the right side bobbin cover sorry bobbin cover there there okay mm -hmm. okay so I think I've done everything that I need to do because it says um, after I replace the bobbin cover I can begin sewing without drawing the bobbin thread so I don't know what if I mess this up you think I should do it Okay, let's, let's, let's do this, let's see. Okay, so here's my piece of fabric. Um, yeah, let's put it that way. And I'll drop my press a foot. Whew, okay. Drop my press a foot and it says you can begin sewing. So I'll be using the foot control. I will keep my fingers away. <laughs> and I'll just, um, I know nothing will go wrong. Well, I mean, if it will, then my fingers are away from the needle. So um, let's see. So here goes. Pray. Pray. Oh, look at that. I don't know if it's sewing, is it? Oh, look. Oops. Uh-oh. Okay. Let's 
let's try this. Sorry, I'm trying to, okay, zoom out because I'm, I'm a bit too close. So the needle is down. Let me press that and raise it. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Sorry, it's kind of blurry. Okay, okay. And then, look! What? Oh, okay, what's going on in the back there? Okay, either way, um, I threaded my machine, right? So, um, yeah, I was just looking for proper stitches and maybe I can play around with the tension because it's doing something funny. But, yay! Success, guys! Success! So I had nothing to be scared of. Yeah, definitely got over the fear of, um, technology and a new machine so um, I think with a bit of practice maybe a few more tries I will definitely get um, more familiar with my machine but I think it's so far it's a sweet machine um, I don't know if you noticed how quiet it was when it was um, sewing through my old machine was noisy I don't know oh my gosh it was so <laughs> It was so no noisy here. Let me let me just show you what it looks like. Okay, so this is my old sewing machine and this is what it looks like. Very basic, very basic. And it was cheap and it lasted me about 5 years. So so yeah, it it was just complaining and um it's it's just time to pack it up. So very b basic. It was very affordable. Everything is like dial. This is how I get my And these are all the stitches. <laughs> Um, but it's a great um, beginner sewing machine and like I said it lasted me about five years so guys thank you so much for going through this <laughs> this little journey with me um, like I said in the beginning I'm kind of intimidated by new technology and just um, learning new things because I'm kind of scared of messing it up so uh, I've done this several several times like I've had my old sewing machine for about five years and I know how to work with my sewing machine but um, this new one that's uh, totally different like I said it's computerized um, and so just scared of messing it up but I think I think I did good um, I still have a lot of learning um, I said I just needed the basic basic features which is um, just knowing how to wind the bobbin put that in and just sewing straight stitch so I figured that out and I'll take some time to go through the the manual which I don't usually do I'm a visual learner so reading instructions gives me a very very hard time so if I see someone do it and which I'll probably do I'll go on YouTube and and just Google Google <laughs> I, will, I will YouTube no I will search I will search for a few videos with the same brand and just see how other people set up or how other people are using it so it's easier for me but um, I did good with reading reading the the manual <laughs> I did really good so but yeah I'm a, I'm a visual learner so I have to see someone do it and then I, I will um, do it for myself so thanks again for uh, watching this and um, yeah um, lesson don't be intimidated you can do it um, this is a great um, well from my my old uh, beginner sewing machine I think this is a great machine to um, for your next level in in sewing so okay guys now I'm rambling I hope you have a great day and please subscribe please share uh, my channel uh, please like it and please comment comment in the section um, tell me what type of sewing machines you have tell me if you have beginners fear or fear <laughs> of new technology like I'd love to hear from you so um, yeah other than that have a great day it was nice um, being with you bye